Senator Bernie Sanders is not done trying to change this flawed economic system. In fact, he has his sight set on ensuring that the corporate tax rate get reversed from 21% to 35%. This is what happened during the Trump administration through his tax cuts for the rich. So the first of Sanders's two bills would reverse a key element of the Trump GOP tax law by raising the corporate tax rate from 21% to 35% where it was prior to the 2017 tax cut. The legislation titled the Corporate Tax Dodging Prevention Act, aptly named, would also bar companies from shifting their profits offshore to avoid US taxes. So some of you might think, "Oh, is that all he's doing? He's just gonna reverse it back to what it was before Trump? No, no, no. He's not done yet. In fact, the second bill, the for the 99.5% act would take aim at the soaring wealth of the top 0.5% of the United States households. The legislation Sanders's office explained would impose a 45% tax rate on estates worth $3.5 million and a 65% tax rate on the value of an estate worth over $1 billion. Um, and here's what uh, Senator Sanders had to say about his bills. He said the second reconciliation bill will deal with long term structural problems that we've had in this country long before the pandemic. We need to build millions of units for low income and affordable housing. We must address the crisis of climate change and transform our energy system away from fossil fuel. And when we do those things, deal with infrastructure, deal with climate. We we can in fact create many, many millions of good paying jobs. And he's absolutely right about that. So he mentions reconciliation because clearly in order to pass this type of legislation, he would need to do it with a simple majority in the Senate. And since he is the chair of the Senate Budget Committee, he does have the ability to do that. Now the only thing Jenk that might kind of stand in the way here is the fact that Biden does not agree with reversing the corporate tax rate back to 35%. He wants to approach this with a middle ground of 28%. But Bernie Sanders seems to be pretty effective in persuading Biden to move to the left on some of these issues. Hopefully he's able to do that with this legislation as well. Well, you're a little kinder to Bernie than I am. But I'm happy to be back on the same team on this issue. So let's first of all point out the difference between uh, his proposal and Biden's proposal. So uh, the tax rates for corporations used to be at 35%. Biden says we're gonna bring them back to 28%. That is not a correct sentence. No, you would be bringing them back to 35%. No, you're saying in essence, you're in favor of a giant tax cut for corporations. You do not want to undo a lot of the Trump tax cuts. So that is Biden's position. And by the way, everybody in the press should be super clear about that. Because that's a fact, there's no disputing that. Um, so Bernie, on the other hand, would bring actually bring it back to 35%. So that's very good news. Uh, and I love the names of these bills, Corporate Tax Dodging Preventing Prevention Act. Well, that is what it is. It's great framing and it's true and everybody should call it that. And, and the other part of that bill that prevents them from hiding their money offshore. I guarantee you, if you had a national debate about that, uh, even Republican voters, maybe even especially Republican voters would totally agree with us. The only people who don't agree with us are corporate Republicans and corporate Democrats, which unfortunately is the great majority of Washington. So this will not pass. We would be super lucky to get Biden's version at 28%. I'm gonna come back to that as a matter of politics in a second, but I wanna give more credit first. So the for the 99.5% act, again, another excellent name and it's true is really important. Look, in the old days, you remember, some of you might remember, I used to be a liberal Republican like 20, 30 years ago, right? And so, and I would have bought into the idea, well, I mean, taxing billionaires at these huge rates is outrageous. No, since then I've learned, I've actually done the research, and these rates produce incredibly great economies. Best economy in literally in world history, when we used to have these same rates, back in the day in America, in this country, okay? And back then I was so poor that I didn't understand what money, like how much money was what this was, right? No, nobody needs more than a billion dollars. And so understand, when he says 65% 
above a billion, yeah, there'll be state and local taxes. So that number will actually be slightly higher. But it's that number is only applies to every dollar above a billion. Okay, you already have a billion dollars in that year that you made. You're never gonna run out of that money. And you still get to keep some of that money above a billion, but the rest is to help others to have equality of opportunity. That is a winning argument that the whole country will agree with. Not necessarily the whole country, but a great majority of the country, including huge numbers of Republican voters. The problem is corporate Democrats don't want to do it either. And so my slight critique of Bernie in this case, even though I love these bills and I'm giving him overall huge credit for it, is that keeping it real, he knows these are not going to pass. When it's tougher, like the $15 minimum wage being attached to a must pass bill, and the bill actually is going to pass, that's when he pulls back a little bit. But that's when he should use his power the most, not on these statement bills that he knows isn't going to pass. I'm just being honest, okay? That is the reality of politics. So are you saying that it's not going to pass simply because um, there are corporate Democrats that are going to um, be an issue, even if he tries to pass the reconciliation? I think that's a fair point. There's a fair point. Honestly, what Bernie would have to do is hold these Democrats feet to the fire, right? Like, because increasing the corporate tax rate and increasing taxes on the rich would be popular even in these, like let's say West Virginia, for instance. You think West Virginians would look at a bill like that, that would actually increase taxes for the rich and be like, no, 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 Joe Manchin, please don't do it. No, we really wanna help the wealthy out. So. I agree with you. I think there's a possibility, but um, Senator Sanders needs to have a strategy to deal with uh, the conservatives in the Democratic Party. Yeah, look, I know what that strategy is, but I gotta be honest, I don't think he's gonna do it. So Progressive Life uh, is uh, somebody who just wrote in on YouTube. Actually, they wrote in earlier on the show uh, on YouTube Super Chat, but it's perfect for this. He said, Bernie has said if he were president, he'd campaign in Manchester State to pass legislation. Uh, you know who he said that to, by the way? Me. I asked him that question, and and that's what he answered, and that's the quote that the press uses, and and I'm proud of that. Uh, and he said, "Why don't progressives hold mass protests in West Virginia for gun control, ending filibuster, and more?" Well, look. The reason I read you that comment here is because Bernie could make a giant deal out of Manchin and the other corporate Democrats voting no on this. He could demand a vote, have them on the record, and have them vote no. And if they vote no, he can go pressure them in West Virginia. Is he going to do that? My guess is no, because he's comfortable doing these statement bills. But when he comes to actually very aggressively challenging his Democratic colleagues, I'm good. again, my job is to be honest with you. That's where he gets uncomfortable. So mm-hmm. Bernie, as always, you've got the right thought here, but you've got to insist on it. You've got to actually use your power. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.